morning everyone day of tears here and we have a mega mail call um we got six pieces of mail so uh, this is day number five of carl the madman's 31 days of august vlog a day team berserker vlog challenge so uh let's get to it got this one first this is from Buzz and I'm thinking Buzzsaw hmm in Connecticut so hang on and let's get her open I'm using my Celtic kilt knife from Mickey Chaz from our brother Mick So yeah, I kind of like that coffee cream, but like I said, I have to uh, learn moderation. I mean, everything's good in moderation, right? Wine is good if you have a glass with dinner, and beer is good if you have two beers while you're barbecuing. Oh yeah, look at that. I got one for my board. It says, can't remember if I ever sent you a sticker. Hmm. So here's another. Keep your vids coming. Buzz. Buzz. Uh, freaking awesome. And I will get him put up on my board. That's awesome, brother. And I will get you one of my homemade stickers. I hope you like it. Um, I'm working on doing some channel patches. And uh, I'll get about ten of them first run out. Because I get a heck of a deal from the person who makes them. It's my daughter, and I guess y'all saw the patches. And somewhere down the road, I'm hoping to get um, t shirts. Okay, this next one's going to be next mail call. Um, Miss Shalisa Shell and the Fatwood. Addicts Anonymous. I think I'm part of the Fatwood party. I can't smell it through the box and you know while it's been sitting here uh, in my house I have been sniffing, sniffing, sniffing and yeah. How you tell Fatwood Addict? First thing they do is when they open a package or pick up some Fatwood is they sniff it. Gotta, gotta give it the sniff test, right? The people What's fat one? Really? Oh, look at there. She packed that full. Holy cow. You know I'm going to be able to uh, have me quite a few parties, Miss Lisa. What do we have here? What do we have here? Oh, oh look. She sent me a ton. Oh. Heck yeah. Oh, you know, I really like those, Shalisa. I really like those. Those are awesome. And that's kind of cool how you made the little wallet that they go in. Freaking, yeah. So I'm going to put one of those on my board because, you know, I am a... And I got you right here, right here, and over here. So... I'm going to hang on to some of these and I'm doing a giveaway soon so I may put some of these in the giveaway box. I got some of the micros. The micro mini Shalisa's. Yay! Freaking awesome sister. Thank you. You rock. Um, I'm so behind on everything. Summer from spring all through uh, the summer months. It is just like non-stop here. Um, in the winter time yeah, fall through uh, early spring I get like spring fever, cabin fever, and 
remember last winter some of y'all that were with me and AK Driller and I were back and forth putting our uh, unique videos out oddball um, Um, next piece. This comes from my digger buddy, J3B, Dig in Canada. And I was not expecting this, or maybe I was and <clears throat> I uh, forgot. Not that I forget much. Yeah, all the time. Oops, kind of ripped it. <laughs> A J3B Digging Canada, that's Jeremiah, and he's pretty awesome. Um, he does some coin rolls, some live digging, and all these people I'm doing uh, mail calls for, I'll have their links down below so y'all can go check them out if you're not subbed to them. And what do we have here? Hey girl, how's it going? Hope everything is going well and your garden's doing great. I found this token detecting and thought of you. I hope you enjoy it. Best wishes. Um, maybe you have some info on it. I'm not 100% sure, sure what it's for, J3B. <clears throat> and one of his business cards. And I have him on my board right here. Right there. So, the spirit of recovery. You know what? Native American. Well, let's see. Okay. So, Our next mail call comes from our brother Brian over at Cape Fear. And you know, everybody's been opening all that cool swag. And I've had this package for, oh, three days, four days. And because I've been doing all the running around. And the beginning of the month is crazy for running around. I do mom's running around for her. And then um, I have to do my running around. And then I was having to do a bunch of stuff with my son that, yeah. Life's been pretty stressful around here. And then I have the garden and the yard work and the housework and the chores have been somewhat lacking and not getting done. So let's get into this and see what we... Oh, oh, oh. Got me some swag. I'm reading what he, he wrote down on here. said this one had your name on it. Oh, wow, I like that. I kind of bust into this. Let's see what that is. Come, come, come. Oh, I can't get it loose. Hang on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a nice point. I love the... And my phone is not focusing tonight. I guess because it's not... Hang on. Okay, let's see if we can get it to focus a little better now. Yeah. Oh, my hands. So, yeah. That's a pretty cool point. And I love the colors on that. Awesome, brother. That's freaking awesome. Wow. And, of course, I got me some Fatwood Emporium swag. Thank you for all your kindness. Beautiful pieces of art you and your mom made. Bless you both. Yeah, mom makes those canvas bags. So, yeah. You're welcome, and you didn't have to do this. Hang on. There's one more thing. Check that out. That is one. Wow. 
Wow. Heck yeah. Almost looks like a, some kind of, yeah. That's awesome. All right. Yay. Right on. Thank you, Brian. That, that's super sweet of you. And any of the, all these people I'm doing these super mega mountain mail calls on, their links are going to be down below. You need to get over to Fatwood Emporium, over to his website. Uh, get your groceries. He's also um, doing a lot for our fundraiser for Aaron Nelson for Bushcrafter 1973's fundraiser for Aaron Nelson. Which is freaking awesome. We've got so many people that have stepped up in the community to try to help a fellow member of our community who is in need. Hang on a second. from Coyote and I just recently um, found his channel and I forget how but anyways I'll have a link down below and he does a lot of uh, what does he call them? free giveaways and uh, he does gear reviews he just did a uh, cook set review and it has that awesome frog tech and uh, tack hill green colors on it the handle so I'll have a link down below for him, and you might want to get over there and give him a sub. Uh, this is collection. Fuck your brain here. Oh, seriously? He did a mail call. Oh, are you serious? Oh my gosh. Okay, so I was watching one of his videos and he had um, done a mail call, picked up some stuff, and first of all, I have his sticker for my board, so yeah, we're going to be full. Um, I love that. Heck yeah. You guys got to see this. Knife and Zippo and two flint heads, foot points. Look at that. Oh my gosh. You guys, I just love you all so much. Holy cow. Now look at that. Is that not a super awesome blade? Oh. Heck yes. You did not have to do that. And it's a lock here. Smooth. Very nice. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You know, I don't have the greatest of luck with Zippos. I never have. And that's about what they do for me. Even when I fill them, put a new flint in. That's what they do for me, so I guess I'm not supposed to play with fire. But this is not something I would want to EDC anyways. Oh my gosh. Perry, that's awesome. Holy cow. Guys, I wish I was outside instead of doing this in the house. I feel so closed in doing this in the house. My gosh, you really did not have to do that. Yeah, I commented how I really like this, and I sent him some stuff for one of his giveaways, and you didn't have to do that. Oh my gosh, that's so nice. Um, yeah, get over there and give too. Next one, I know what this is, and I probably don't need to open this on camera, but I gotta give props where props is due. Um, we're doing a trade. If I can ever get it done. Um, the handle that I had made bow that I huh, split in half, <clears throat> sorry, my American flag handle, well, they want one. 
I've never made any two pieces that were exactly the same and that was a one of a kind and I'm going to try and it was over 100 degrees it was ranging 105, 108, 113 every day for like the whole month of July so I wasn't able to get outside and uh, work with my new power sander or belt sander um, so I promised Justin and Jana I will get you your handle done um, as soon as it cools off that's what I'll be doing I won't be out in the garden anymore I will be I'm trying to open this guys if you hear the background um, yeah this is sweet uh, yes cool weather the fall all winter long is gonna be my ferro rod handle projects because I can get outside in this heat it is so hard I have to limit myself um, I've had heat stroke before last year or the year before and uh, it takes a really long time to recover and I don't know if we ever really do so here's what they <laughs> that's oh my gosh I love that oh I can't wait oh my gosh and I did that backwards oh okay this right here is an envelope that's going to my um, Christmas in July back to school Santa so I will get this I have a big box that I'm getting ready to send out so awesome I will put that in there thank you guys Justin and Janet you guys are super cool and they're going on a 10 day camping trip <coughs> So I hope they enjoy and they have a blast and they take lots of uh, footage or at least lots of pictures and share with us. I'm uh, My trip got canceled. Like We didn't even get halfway through. We got up to South Dakota and it got canceled and we had to turn around and come back. So I didn't get to do my Badlands weekend camp trip. So my daughter and I were still planning something. Um, just got to figure out where we are not doing real good here. They have a new tick-borne illness, tick-borne illness. So not only do we have Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever, Lyme disease, and there's a, one that my neighbor, two doors down, what she got, she almost died from it. And I, I have to ask her what it was, but something in the enzymes of the tick bite, it almost killed her. And now she has an allergic re reaction every time she eats mammal meat like a cow pig she can eat chicken and fish but every time she eats mammal meat she uh, has to go to the hospital pretty bad reaction and it's from a tick bite it's like an alpha 3 something is what she called it and uh, so yeah our ticks here have that and then as y'all know I got really sick um, guessing it was a uh, that Lyme disease and uh, each day I was a little worse a little worse a little worse which is kinda of what they're saying this bourbon that's what this is called bourbon disease gal that worked at the park where I was gonna go with my daughter camping died and uh, they finally after it was too late every day she woke up a little bit worse and the next day she woke up and she was a little bit worse and it started with the headache and the achy bones and joints and that's what I was doing and nausea and then she finally uh they took her to the hospital and she she died um so yeah our ticks are really bad here and that kind of has me scared because you know i i've already had tick tick sickness tick sickness um so yeah i'll get me a camping trip in and i gotta test out my super cool hammock that i got from uh raymond over there at the crypto man hiking and bushcraft he was super awesome and sent me a big box of stuff. So we're going to get her done. And uh, we're going to get her done by the end of September. Okay, so that's it. That's my mountain of mail. Awesome, cool. Got me some swag. Yay. And stickers for my board. Hang on. Okay. I got her here. Shalisa Shell's Fatwood Anonymous and Mr. Buzzsaw. We have Survival Mindset and our brother Brian over Cape Fear 
I don't think I've left anyone out. OJ3B, Doug in Canada. All their links will be down below. Super fantastic, super uber awesome, cool mail call. Um, I'm going to split this up in two videos, maybe. No, that's not fair. Um, it's going to be one big long one. So, uh, I hope you all enjoy my mail call. And I thank all you awesome folks. Oh my gosh, our community is just the greatest. Um, you guys are awesome. And uh, I'll get you on the flip-flop and get you some get you some of uh, my native tears mail calls going. I just sent a bunch out. And uh, all right, I'm out of here. I'm going to go finish my coffee and get it, go eat some dinner. It's like now almost 10 o'clock. And hopefully I get this up as day five of the... Uh, Team Berserker, Carl the Madman's 31 Days of August Challenge. Yeah, I got all that out without the coffee. Okay, so y'all have a beautiful day, a blessed day, wonderful evening, wonderful weekend, safe weekend. Remember all our boys and girls deployed around the world who can't be home. As always, thank a veteran, and hey, do a random act of kindness for a stranger. It just uh, might make a horrible day uh, very awesome.